Hi guys. For those who have seen my demonstration for Groomania for, uh, for Transgroom TV, uh, you've probably hear me talking about horses. Um, when I groom a poodle, I think about uh, horses. It sounds really crazy. Uh, for me, it works, and I will tell you why that's why i make uh, this video i want to clarify that a little bit more um, so that you can probably use it as well or something uh, when you ride a horse yourself you have privileges by grooming a poodle because you can use a lot of uh, things for what you want to see when I first started to grow on poodles, I was going to train a lot with people and that really works and I still do. I still have, uh, I think that I can say it, um, a god on earth and I call him a god on earth. You, you, can't, you can't without training. You need to improve yourself you want to be better in grooming a poodle. Um, and I still do that because uh, I think it's very important that somebody is checking your work and uh, maybe discuss something uh, with you together and when the person tells uh, their view how they watch it and how they see it and for me it's really important the why so I come to the horses because um, I always look for the why why do I have to groom a certain part that way because you can tell me how to to scissor a part and you can tell me yes that line is uh, is slopping or or straight or whatever but if you don't tell me why I don't really it, it don't really make sense in my head if I know why then I can use it with the scissoring and I can think about oh yeah that's why that's that's what I want to see so I have to scissor it that way okay i've printed some photos and i'm going to try you to show you on the photos uh from the horses and uh the poodle i've scissored first of course first we have the beautiful dressage horse then we have the hackney yes who is uh for the carriage, of course. I come to you also to that. Then I use for my mind the quarter horse. Then we have the jumping horse. And last but not least, we have this massive giant horse. If you put all those horses together in one riding area, my eyes will go straight to the dressage horse. I think a dressage horse has elegance, has power, has style, has, uh, for my eyes, it has almost everything. I wanna show you the picture again. It has beautiful legs, a straight back, it's going up and then we don't even talk about his movement yet. This horse, the hackney for the carriage, if you see him walking on the picture, you think first, well, okay, it's not bad, but if you are gonna think about it, how the way he moves, um, it's so wrong that you don't want to see that on the poodle and okay um, they breed these horses this way but they make it more uh, because of some points they do and I use this to do scissor some parts of the poodle which I don't want to see because he can't move the way you want a poodle to move. Then we have the beautiful quarter horse. They are beautiful. They have muscles, they have 
power, but they don't have the elegance. And if you look at the quarter horse, his, he, he's built the way he's going downwards. All the, the weight is he carrying on his front legs. You don't want to see that on the poodle. Then, if you go to the jumping horse, it is a beautiful horse as well, but if you see this horse next to a dressage horse in an uh, arena, on a horse riding arena or whatever, where, um, your first eye doesn't go to this horse because he don't, he don't stand out, he just is a little bit more flat. You don't jump out and you want uh, your poodle to jump out, especially in a show, but even on the uh, grooming competition on the tables, because you want the judge look at your work instead of watching another. Um, and then uh, we had that heavy way horse, we come to that at the end. Okay, first, I'm coming to the poodle. In my mind, I'm grooming with the um, dressage horse in my mind. So I want to go to that beautiful, powerful, but elegant, standing strong, beautiful movement of the dressage horse even on the poodle. So it's, for me, it's almost the same. Of course, it's a totally different animal, so you, it's not really the same, but you can use a lot of it. If you look on the dressage horse, when it's moving, he's always going up the mountain. We call it in the horse training back in the days, if you ride on a horse, you have to ride him up on a mountain. You do that with your body and your legs, but we can't sit on a poodle, so we have to do it a different way. The poodle has a coat, so we can do a lot with the coat to uh, create the upwards movement of the dressage horse. Instead of the going down like the quarter horse. We don't want that. He's not He's not there. If you see this in a ring next to a dressage horse, he is not there. So I want that they watch my poodle if I'm on a show or on a grooming competition. Even if you look at this photo of the dressage horse, he is going up on the mountain. That's why you look at that horse. When that horse is coming into the ring, you think, wow. I want, I want to ride that horse, I want to have that horse, I really love him. I also want to have that on my poodle. So the first thing what I always use is my pumps are never the same. I already said it in the demo. Um, my front pumps are always a little bit higher than the back pumps. Don't overdo it, of course, you want it slightly higher than the back pumps. That's the first um, part that you create, that he's going up, and when he's in the ring, he's walking upwards, and as like, see me, look at me, that's what it tells when he's moving. Um, if we see a horse, a horse's movement from the dressage horse, when he's moving, he's pushing with his back legs so he can reach out his front legs. So if we want to create that here, and if we even when he's standing, so uh, of course we want to see that for sure when he's walking, I like it when I see a good, good uh, pushing movement from the back legs. To have uh, like a puppy clip, the coat on his legs, you can uh, create, if your poodle don't have 
proper angulation in his back legs. You can create the angulation, of course, on his coat over there. You don't have that here, uh, so we have to make that angulation only from this part. The thing I already told it in the demo is that you have to make this line sloping. So then you can create um, uh, the angulation if you poodle don't have it. If you poodle have it, you could definitely gonna show that uh, uh, angulation. If you make it just straight, it's kind of pity if you have a dog who have uh, a good angulation and you make that line straight and you make it like similar palms at the front you do not your puro good so always try to make this line sloping so when he's moving you see because of uh, this angulation you create he's pushing with his back legs so he uses his back legs you don't you don't want to see the poodle is moving and his back legs are something there behind him of course he he push them also a little bit backwards but you have to push him to the front you have to put out his front legs next part i always make this line straight at the beginning I didn't, because I love to see the chest, I thought it was okay, and then uh, some, I have learned that it was not okay, but I thought, why, why it's not okay, because I like it when you see a little bit more chest. Then I came back to the horses, and that's why when the hackney is coming, I will put this in a down for a second and I will show you closer to the camera. If you look at this hackney, what do uh, the people do to make him sure he's going more up with his legs, so he's not reaching out, he's going up. If you have seen as a child the, the movie Black Beauty, I think every country has that uh, movie for children. It's, you can also see seen it in the pretty part of that um, movie, you see that they tied the horse up from here behind his ears to the back. Maybe if I'm going closer, you see here there is a string. Yes. So they tied the head up so he's going more upwards with his feet. But if you see this horse walking, he's never gonna reach with his back legs over the footprint of his front legs. He's going up and down, up and down, and he's not push. If you look at this back leg, you see that he's going up and he don't going to the front. So he, he's going up and down very high but if you see a poodle walking you don't want him only to put up his legs and put it down again you want to to push it from behind to the front i i like it to see that way so that's why i never ever create here too much chest because if you're gonna create uh, chest with a coat, you make it look like his head is going backwards. You want a nice straight, straight neck on your poodle. So that's why I make this line straight. And I use the body of the poodle to make this angulation to his elbow. So he has the chest on his own. So don't ever build it. Also, when you build up a chest, of course, with a coat, you make your dog look like longer. You don't want him to be longer. 
You do also don't say make him as short as possible. Uh, I think it's, it's not the right way to say it. Um, I think it's better to say don't make him longer than necessary. Use the body of your dog and work with that. Don't make him longer than your dog is. If you compare the dressage horse with the jumping horse, which horse look um, more compacter, how do you say it, more shorter? That's, I think I have to say the right words. It's obviously the dressage horse. So, also, when I make this line and I want to close up the negative space, I'm thinking of the dressage horse because he is not long in loin. He is short in his back and he's short in his loin. The jumping horse, he has to be more longer in his back because where is the photo? He has to jump very high. The dressage horse also can jump very high, but he never can jump high and make length in his body to go overreach all this part for the jumping. So that's why the jumping horse is flatter from himself and then uh, uh, longer in his back so you don't want to have that so if you groom your poodle always think of the back I think of the back of the dressage horse you want to make it um, a little bit for you a little bit shorter in mind don't make it too long in the back or it's in his loin next to that we always want to have the straight straight back, uh, even in a continental. If we're going back to this horse, to the acne, you see when he pull up his head, well he have to because they tie him up here, when he do that, you already see on my reaction, when I pull up this and I put out my chest a little bit more, then my back is going um, like curved, a little bit curved down. If you look at this horse, his back is also going curved. You don't want that. You want a straight, where is it? A straight back. Okay, next part. My line is always uh, never behind the elbow and that also have to do with two kind of things in my mind for uh, when I compare it with the horses if you make it go below the elbow this line will always go slightly down to his front leg if you see a poodle moving with this line going down he obviously, I come with my picture again, look like this. You don't want to look him like this. You want to look him uh, like the dressage horse. He stand out, he's proud, he, he has style, he has power. This is what a dressage horse means. So that's why I never go under the elbow here. And I know if you see uh, the poodle from the front, front face, and you have him standing higher um, of the ground, you can see a little bit of the elbow here. But if you are in the ring, showing your dog in the ring, the judge is never ever with his head over here. He always stands up here and watch the dog that way. If he watch the dog this way, he don't see that. It, it will look like it's fall in the coat. That's why I always want to make this straight, never going down. Even when it's going down, it will look like his butt, his 
uh, behind part is higher than his front. If you see what I mean, you don't want it. You want a straight and going upwards even on your poodle. Then, of course, I have one last photo of that massive, massive giant horse. If I see a poodle uh, in a ring or if, if it's on the show or the grooming competition, for me, it's not really uh, different what I want to let the judge see. Of course, for a grooming competition, it's all about your scissoring, but the way you do it, it's already getting more attention of the judges to watching you. And if they're watching you better, they, well, let's say I think it's better if they watch you if they, if instead of they don't watch you. If we see this massive horse, it's way too heavy. I, that's why I never ever let too much coat on my poodle. I find it that when I leave too much coat on my poodle, they make it more heavy instead of elegance. We want to have that power, of course, but don't overdo it. It's not necessary. You don't need to have a lot of coat uh, to make it, in my opinion, to make it uh, work. Then we have the feet. I don't know if you can see it good on the photo, but I always show the feet, always. That's why my um, pumps are a little bit higher, I have to say, because some people come to me for a private lesson and then they, uh, I almost always have to tell them, you have to grow uh, up your pumps at the front because it's too low. And they do that because they going too low on the feet with the pumps. In my, besides that, if I see a poodle standing from a distance, I want to see that uh, power, what I've told you before. You can create it with showing the feet. They stand there. And if you don't show the feet, he's just standing there. So you want to show that feet. The last thing, what in my eyes is important, uh, I even come back with the dressage horse, of course. <clears throat> you want a beautiful top line. You want that as straight as possible to go up. For me, it's more important to have here a longer and a good coat than on top of his head because this doesn't have to be that long. This has to be more long, longer and in better condition because you want to have this as straight as possible. If you want to, if you have here really high on his head and it goes here more like a dead line, a sloping line, I think I have to call it, you create more length in his back. And then you go back to the jumping horse. You don't want that, you want the dressage horse. So try to make this and let it grow as straight as possible, as long as possible, even longer than up there. Because with that look, you can create, he's going upwards. Like, where is the autumn photo? Look at the power. That's what I want to see. So everything is maybe crazy what I groom on my poodle I use in my mind what I want to see like a dressage horse uh, instead of uh, the, the, the quad horse, the jumping horse, the hackney or the massive giant horse I want to say one more thing about the quad horse if you have seen my demo you have probably heard me talking about the puns on his back. I never ever make them thick on the side of the dog. I always make it flat. And this is why. If you see this quarter horse, you see the saddlebags. 
if the horse is moving, the saddlebags are moving too. So imagine these pumps. When your poodle is moving and you have made them thick on the side, what it will do, it will go in with your poodle with his movement like this. I find it so ugly, so never ever make it to the side. That's why I always make it flat on the side and round on the top. I think um, that's a little bit more explanation. For me it works this way. <laughs> Maybe some of you will say, well, that lady is totally crazy. Um, maybe others say, yeah, well, there is something that we can use about it. There is something that make it more clarify in its head why we do something, well, why I do something this way. Um, and if, when it's not really clear for you yet, just go watch movies on uh, Google, YouTube, whatever. And look how the difference between the horses I've told you and then um, go look and find some videos about poodles the way he's moving so try to to look at the points what I have told if you make this not straight but if you build up a chest that he is will look like that he's going to do like that so he can't move properly because he's going up and he can't reach out so you want to have to reach him out and if you make this line going down the elbow your dog's probably walking down with his front and his back is going up you don't want it you want a straight back so that is what from for me is working and besides all this i want to say that the maintenance for the coat is really 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 important besides all of this craziness thinking of me because if the coat is really not in a good condition you can never ever reach out uh, this goal even for young poodles i groom them as much as possible because then the coat in my opinion gets more structure if you don't groom a young dog and you let it just grow it will uh, going to a hang and the, the 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 balance is the bounce i have to say is going out of the coat you you never can reach this i'm not saying that, that you have to reach this but you can can't can't reach what you have in in your mind so try to scissor them if you can as much as possible um if you only do going to the shows with your poodles then you have um a benefit with that bit because you can scissor them as, as much as you like and I don't say you have to put much of it just tiny tips if you have to go for um, the grooming competition yes you have to have a little bit more uh, hair like eight weeks but I never go on a grooming competition with a young dog just because it's, it's cold it isn't ready if I go to a grooming competition I want to make sure that the coat is good so, um, I think I've mentioned everything now, um, not quite sure if I just forget something, but I hope I have, can explain a little bit more about uh, why I think on horses when I groom a poodle, uh, uh, because of the why, it's, it's the most important. What happened when I go that line that way, what happened going deadline that uh, that way just me it really helped that i have the history to, so that i have from the horses and i know how the horses will move and probably like that and uh, normally i normally i can use my body to reach the goal that i want to see on the dress eyes horse and see the powerness and the elegance and the look at me i'm beautiful and with the poodle we have the coat we can use so try uh try it <laughs> or call me crazy it doesn't matter to me it's matter if it works for you or not so maybe you have something on it maybe you're not okay <laughs> bye